your host, Carlos Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you to That's Rapid Industry News Podcast. Today, we're at the 8th Annual Government Video and Technology Expo. This is the East Coast's largest professional video event for the government and video communication sector. Here, you will find over 300 manufacturers and 8,500 products. Even though we will not be able to show them all to you, let's go see what some of them have to offer. My name is Monica Golden. I'm with CMS Products. And what we make are backup and restore systems for laptop and desktop computers. These portable computer backup systems are two and a half inch hard drives. They have capacity of uh, 40 to 120 gigabytes. Our desktop models have capacity from 80 to 100 to 500 gigabytes of capacity. These products are plug and play. They come with our proprietary software called Bounce Back. You simply plug into a USB port or a FireWire connection and you can back your computer up. The software allows uh, backup of your entire operating system and all files that are on the system, including video, music, uh, data, photographs. And since the entire operating system is uh, copied, if you have a hard drive crash, you're safe because you don't have to reload your software. This is our newest product. It's called the ABS Mini. It's a 1.8 inch hard drive that has capacity from 40 to, I'm sorry, from 20, 40, or 60 gigabytes, soon to be 80 gigabytes. It's a mere four ounces. It's very portable. It has a mini USB connection and it's powered off the bus. So it's very light, very practical, it's shock mounted. This very cool case is an extruded aluminum case, so it's very, very durable. Our bounce back product comes in both, uh, it comes in Windows and also Mac. You can find the information at www.cmsproducts.com. Uh, Steve Donahue and Bruce Gardinier with Conference Systems Incorporated. We are uh, the U.S. distributors for Brailler and DIS, the Danish interpretation systems, uh, for uh, conference microphones. This is useful for everything from small portable meetings uh, to uh, large, uh, very large uh, legislative arenas, everything from a U.N. to a city council type of application. Uh, the microphones are all running on a, uh, a shielded Cat5 cable and uh, they daisy chain from one unit to the next back up to 100 units into a controller uh, that can then uh, distribute the audio back into the room either via onboard speakers or uh, into a, a distribution network for broadcasting for uh, language interpretation for any number of applications. The digital receiver, this is a brand new uh, digital receiver from uh, Danish Interpretation Systems that is uh, uh, up to 32 channels of simultaneous interpretation. It is also uh, uh, useful for uh, other applications where uh, a uh, headphone type distributed audio is desirable. Uh, what comes to mind immediately is like health clubs where people are working on uh, different uh, different machinery in the health club and they want to tune in to the uh, uh, television broadcast and they could uh, select the different audio channels and have digital clarity, uh, uh, full range audio, uh, stereo, right through an uh, infrared system. With infrared there's no interference. There's no bleed over from one channel to another. You can contact Conference Systems Incorporated. Uh, we're in Germantown, Maryland. Uh, it's uh, conferencesystems.com on the internet. And uh, our phone number is 301-330-9090. Uh, Hello, my name is Jay Jones. I'm director of night vision programs at Electrophysics. Um, we make night vision adapters for photography and video. Specifically, we use military-grade technology. We're using uh, Gen 3 image intensifiers that are used in military uh, and BBS 14s, the monoculars and the pocket scopes that uh, our soldiers are carrying into the field in Afghanistan and Iraq. We're applying that technology to photography and video. Um, we make adapters for still cameras like the 
Canon Digital Rebels, the uh, Nikon D100s, D70s, D50s, D2Xs, uh, the new Sony high definition uh, Z1U camera, the uh, Canon XL series cameras including the XL2 and the new Canon uh, high definition version of the XL camera. Um, we also make them for, we make these night vision adapters, incidentally called the, uh, our, our product name or our product line name for this adapter is the Astroscope. We make them for consumer grade camcorders as well, a, a select limited number of uh, models. But our gear has been used by uh, the industry, uh, professionals in the industry including CBS, NBC, Fox News, CNN. Um, uh, our gear has been used in uh, a number of uh, television programs, including uh, an upcoming uh, episode of CSI New York. I believe it was uh, one of our thermal imagers was recently used for uh, an episode of Night Stalker. Uh, a number of uh, also a number of uh, reality TV programs. This is the Astroscope. It fits between the camera body and your existing lenses. For a Canon, uh, in this case it's a Canon XL series camera, we actually use the XL bayonet so that you can still use your XL lenses and uh, we fit between the camera body and the lens. It's as simple as that. It is lightweight, um, doesn't add a great deal of bulkiness or weight to your, to your camera setup and um, you're ready to shoot pictures at night. We rent these adapters. There are a number of rental companies around the company that, or country that also rent these adapters for uh, broadcast cameras. We make them for broadcast ENG cameras with uh, B4 bayonets. You can, you can go to www.electrophysics.com. You can contact me. I'm Jay Jones. Uh, my email address is jjones at electrophysics.com. Please give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Hi, my name is uh, Steve Eagle. I work for Grace Distribution in Los Angeles and we're distributors of the pin bike system which is based in Australia. It's designed by a sound professional. He's a sound mixer in Australia. He does commercials, he does Miss Universe, things of that nature. One of the problems he came across when doing these beauty pageants is there's no good way to mic a woman. It's impossible. Um, they're wearing dresses, low cut shirts, thin material. So he designed this concept where you have three pins that can pierce through any type of fabric without leaving any mark, relatively any mark unless it's an extremely expensive shirt. The capsule, microphone capsule attaches to the outside of these pins, snaps into place, and that capsule sits on the outside of your clothing so it moves with the clothing instead of against it. So he killed two birds with one stone with this. Number one, he was able to mount the microphone wherever he wanted on the wardrobe. And number two, he got rid of clothes rustling and all that associated noise artifacts that come along with it. Most uh, lavaliers like this, they have this clip, these cables, and that create those create noise when they rub against other objects. But this system sits on the outside of your clothing. You can put it through a buttonhole and completely disguise it. So it's really solving several issues that the industry has had for years. So let me show you the sleeve. That's the capsule. There goes the sleeve. Now on top of that sleeve, you could take any number of objects. So let's pretend that's a black button from my shirt. Glue that on. A little wiggling, you get it into place, looks like a button. Or another option that people do. They will put the mic off to the side, like so. And then accessorize it with any sort of corporate logo or a pin. And all you're going to be seeing is that American flag, like so. And you can see right here, it, this was just a pin. I, for one dollar I bought it at an art store and I knocked off the pin part and I put a, a drop of glue, put my sleeve on. That's what it's going to look like. And that it just attaches to the pins that come through your shirt. So we can accessorize for everything. This was on Larry King recently where he had a, a CNN logo off to the side. It's an Omni microphone so you can actually place it wherever you want within reason. Now this outdoor capsule right here it has an advantage over the indoor capsule. It's got a built-in mesh windscreen, so when you're going outside, it's got a much better wind suppression. What you sacrifice is the size and being able to conceal it. You can see the diameter is slightly larger than a comparable button. You can see the differ this difference right there. So that's the sacrifice. You sacrifice the size, but you get better wind suppression. 
So that's pretty much all there is to it. The sleeve, the back plate, the capsule, and the windscreen. Hi, I'm Kathy Hike. I'm with Pinnaker Education Center. We're located in Arlington, Virginia, at 2601A Wilson Boulevard. We at the Education Center offer classes and um, Apple courses in Final Cut Pro and Motion, as well as Avid editing courses in all the different Avid systems. If you're just getting into video and you're just getting into the business, it's a great way to learn how to edit. You'll be in a creative environment. This is where a full post-production facility as well. Um, if you are an experienced editor and you want to just get into effects, get into color correction, learn how to use motion, use it, learn how to use Photoshop with your editing system, that's perfect as well. So when you visit our website, you can see all the classes that we have to offer. You can visit our website for more information. It's www.henniger.com. Michael with ICANN uh, Video Products. Uh, I've got a new line of some uh, low-cost, uh, cost-effective uh, items that most anyone needs. We start off with our entire line of uh, LCD monitors. Uh, we've got them uh, both in a rack mount version and then also in, uh, in a uh, standard version. Uh, the big, mo the seven-inch monitors are 16 by nine and four by three switchable. They're only 299. Complete kits with. Uh, mounts uh, and all the hardware to mount it on your camera and remote control and all that. Uh, we also have a new line of fluorescent lights. The least expensive fluorescent light which starts off at $6.99 and that includes dimmer, uh, barn door intensifiers, and uh, the bulbs included in the price. That's about a half to a third of the price that most of the other guys have. And on the far side over here we have our teleprompting system. $6.99 includes the uh, prompting monitor, the software, and the universal mount. And uh, get in touch with us at www.icancorp.com. And I guess that's a wrap. My name is Don Hagen. Uh, I live in Washington, D.C. and I'm a professional voiceover talent. Any of the people who belong to ITVA, the organization that I represent, um, are also freelance people. They may be technical side, they may be producers or directors or they may be writers. Uh, ITBA DC is a great organization for them to belong to. We hold two meetings every month. Uh, and it's an opportunity not only to uh, meet people that you already know in the business, but meet other events. We also publish a newsletter, and the newsletter here that I have comes out every month. Um, and there's a wide range of different topics covered in the newsletter, as well as the meetings that we're having. I can see here that our next meeting is going to be the holiday party. And then coming in January, we begin our first Thursday series, which are held at Henninger, and they are technical in nature, and they usually draw a very uh, good crowd. The Peer Awards this year will be held, as I said, at the National Press Club, and it will be February 4th. You can find plenty of information at our website, which is itvadc.org. And if you have any questions, you can send an email to info at itvadc.org. I'm Kevin Baxter, I'm with Light Panels, and I'm here to show you the latest in lighting technology. Long, long term battery power, there's two hour lifetime in our batteries, no heat, you'll never burn yourself, things been running all day long, no transmitted heat to the talent, so consequently you can run this and, and not melt your talent. We've got daylight balance, or incandescent balance. We have infrared for reality TV shows. We have mini DV batteries to use on your own DVs. We have one by ones coming out in January 1st. Large, flat lights, inch thick, that can be put into huge arrays and like traditional motion pictures. Uh, the quality of a soft box, but the ability to project out long distances. With specialized batteries, say your own DV batteries, if you had large batteries, it'd be nine to 10 hours. Uh, we also have AC adapters so they can be used continuously, a lot of permanent installations. So we have Noga arms, we have hot shoe adapters, either which can be used. Um, we have like a baby pins that can go into traditional C-stands and what have you. Um, there is, uh, we have short Noga arms, long Noga arms. Um, there are specialized adapters for cameras like the new uh, Sony ZMU that because they didn't make things standard, we made an adapter for those kind of cameras. 
Hi, I'm Mike Lehman with Microboards. Uh, Microboards does all CD, DVD, duplication, and printing equipment. We offer a full line of DVD towers, automated printers, automated duplicators, and publishing systems. So we have a full range of anything you're interested in, DVD and CD and DVD publishing and printing. Uh, we also have DVD authoring equipment available and other software solutions that are related to the CD and DVD industry. This is our uh, DX1 system. We have a DX1 and a DX2. It uh, connects directly to a PC using uh, Zulu 2 software. also has uh, software to create your image file. So you take the data you want in Zulu 2, you can select the print file you want, the quantity, and it automatically prints directly onto the disk. So it'll duplicate it and print it. Uh, what's nice about the microboard system is you can do a full color disc for only about 13 cents a disc. And uh, our equipment all you'll find is very industrial and we have the best support in the industry. We recommend Tayo Uden uh, Media for uh, inkjet printing and any other type of duplication type of uh, uh, things that you're doing. But uh, there's a lot of other uh, products available on the market that is uh, inkjet printable, but we do recommend Tayo Uden. My name is Dave Har. The uh, company is Minicom Advanced Systems. We manufacture a full line of keyboard, video, mouse, and switching product, as well as video distribution product, which is some of the stuff that we're showing here at the show today. Basically, we have a, a broadcasting system that allows you to send the same video to multiple, uh, to multiple screens, up to 128 screens off of one source. We also have product that does one-to-one -one extensions. If I want to take a video signal or a video and audio signal and extend it out to uh, another location up to 360 feet away, I can use my video or audio video extender. We're located, the headquarters is in Jerusalem and the U.S. headquarters is in Linden, New Jersey. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm Steve Zrowski with Princeton Server Group. We make a one-channel and a four-channel video server. For, um, generally for campus cable, for public access, educational access, government access. Um, it's got a lot of nice features in this little box here. It's actually driving all of these four channels. Um, in addition to driving the channels and playing back independently on four channels, you can fade out in between programs. You can import flash animation and run it over the video, um, which we see happening over here in screen number one. Um, and you control the whole server from a web interface. So you could basically change your programming or change your overlays from across the country um, as it's running on your cable system. My name is Fritz von Toggen. My company is ProSight. We make modular code systems, which are codes or cycloramas that are used for studios, infinity backgrounds, virtual backgrounds, or chroma key backgrounds. Our product can be painted any color you want to. In this situation, it's chroma key green, and uh, we have a green flooring that we also sell that never needs painting. Uh, we have seven different systems, anywhere from a tabletop site, which is used for small product work up to three by four feet. Uh, but uh, for doing product or insert work, it's very good. Uh, you can make that system bigger if you want to. Uh, a lot of people use it, uh, like Claymations uses it for motion control uh, systems. Then we have an 18-inch radius system that is used by ORAD uh, for their Cyberset system. And then when you get into a real studio, our least expensive is also one of our better systems. It's our System 3EZ. And the System 3EZ is a system that you simply attach to your existing wall and screw it into the wall, screw it into the floor, mud and tape it, and then you paint it whatever color you want. Uh, then we also have freestanding systems. We also have a five foot radiant system that's used mostly for automobile photography, movie uh, production companies, and for uh, furniture, large room groups, things like that. There really is no limitation on how big a site you might want. Uh, this system here is 12 feet by 12 feet by 12 feet. It 
was built here and painted in less than 48 hours, and we're doing full 3D composite virtual reality videotaping. You can find information about our product at www.prosite.com, and we have flash video and full video on our on our website. It's very informative. It's not meant to be uh, a hard sell. It's more or less to inform people about sykes, how sykes are used, how to care for sykes, and we have every instruction manual of all of our systems on the web. So you don't even have to contact us uh, to get an instruction manual, and you can watch installation videos on the web as well. My name is Justin, I work at Professional Sound Services, and we are located in New York on West 43rd Street. We rent, sell, and repair all audio equipment for film. Uh, the most popular wireless is this uh, electrosonic receiver with the SM transmitter. And right now, the newest flash card is the FR2 made by Fostex. And the flash card looks like this. Of course, you can get it in a one gig or a two gig. We're on the internet. It's www.pro-sound.com. My name is Jeff White, and I'm a sales manager for Streambox. We're based out of Seattle, Washington. We deliver uh, real-time broadcast quality video over IP networks. Uh, so the basic idea is going from a camera through something like a laptop-based encoder here, uh, out to a decoder here, and uh, out to video here. The, we do it uh, better, faster, smarter, cooler than anything else. Uh, the cost of video delivery is a lot lower with our system. What you're seeing here uh, is 2 megs per second. Uh, at, uh, with other MPEG-based products, it could, uh, you would have to pay for as much as 8 megs of, uh, of bandwidth to deliver the same kind of quality, all things being equal. And what can we find more information about your product? services? www.streambox.com. Thank you. Or call me directly 206-956-0544, extension 150. Hi, my name is Doreen Blunt. I'm the president of Women in Film and Video of Washington, D.C. Women in Film is a professional organization for women and men in the media, in television, in film, and in multimedia and video. We try to empower our members to be the best that they can be and provide educational programs, networking events, and film festivals to help our members get their message out and their word out. We are all about the membership. Women in Film and Television International is our head organization, which is actually a network of all WIF chapters around the world. The wonderful thing about Women in Film and Video of Washington, D.C. is that we are a part of a network of 40 chapters around the world, including chapters in Europe, in Africa, in, um, across Canada, and in the United States. So we're very excited about being part of a network, but we're also excited about being here in Washington, D.C. A lot of people don't know that Washington, D.C. has a very, very vibrant television and film community, and with being the headquarters of companies like Mac Geographic, Discovery Communications, TV One, we are a very, very diverse community here in the Washington, D.C. area. So we exist for production personnel in Washington, D.C. to get together, to talk about issues that are important to us, and hopefully so that we can all take it to another level when it comes to doing our work. And if you want more information about women in film and video, I invite you to look at our website, which is www.wifv.org. Thanks for this moment of your time. Bye for now.